Well, what can I tell you? Shit just got real here in Canada. Um, and the shizzle has hit the fan. The um, news today, and just let me grab my notes because I was getting ready for bed when this came across my news feed. Um, and what has happened is that the federal government, IK, the Prime Minister, has invoked the Emergencies Act. And that is a, an act in which allows the government to um, enact extraordinary measures that they not, wouldn't normally do in order to uh, protest, to quell these protests that are, uh, have paralyzed Ottawa. I mean, uh, central part of Ottawa is under siege. They have blocked border crossings and uh, on Sunday, um, we had some a bit of action in Alberta at one of the major border crossings. A um, couple of guys in, uh, I believe it was a farm tractor and a truck, attempted to ram a police vehicle on Sunday. Fortunately, the officers got out of the way and nobody was injured. Um, Police went in, executed search warrants today. 11 people were arrested and they seized any number of uh, long guns, handguns, uh, multiple sets of body armor, um, a machete, a quantity, a large quantity of ammo, and some high capacity uh, firearm magazines. Now, anybody who's familiar with Canada, we don't put up with this shit. We do not have a gun culture in this country. So uh, for this sort of stuff, like these high capacity fire, they're prohibited. Prohibited. Not allowed. Long guns are regulated. Handguns are extremely regulated. Um, I'm not sure about the body armor. The machete, probably if it was being used as like a farm or logging instrument would be fine, but certainly not in the back of a truck. Uh, so these kind of, this kind of weaponry, we're not gonna put up with. Also, uh, thanks to a hacker group, we have uh, found out who has been contributing to one of the, wasn't GoFundMe, GoFundMe account was shut down, um, but this was uh, a Christian, and I use the air quotes because I really don't think Jesus said to go and disrupt neighboring governments. I don't think that was in any version of the Bible that I read. So um, I think this is an act of political terrorism. Now, it was funded by Canadians. The majority of the funding came from Canadians, if you're looking at dollar, dollar amount, like there's no doubt we have our right wing whack jobs in this country. And I think it's going to be a surprise to a lot of Canadians. Certainly has kind of made me sit back of how many of these um, uh, nut jobs we have running around in my country. Um, some other things here, and just I'm kind of scanning through my notes here because I really did not have time to prep this. Um, so what is the, the other things that come out of this particular um, information is it gives the police a lot more powers and it gives the RCMP, which is really our federal force, um, a lot more assistance in uh, being able to help other police agencies that find themselves overwhelmed. So it's one of the things that the uh, municipality of Ottawa has been saying is that they don't have the um, manpower in order to deal with this siege in the downtown area. And uh, the Emergencies Act allows the federal government to declare that protest in Ottawa as being illegal and they can clear it out by whatever means they need to, like um, towing vehicles, etc. Now, the Prime Minister to date has said that they are not looking at bringing in the military. Um, but there is a great continuum of 
uh, responses that the government can take. So my question is, first question I got for the cards, and I gotta throw it out there, is uh, what, is this gonna succeed? Is this gonna succeed? I mean, I'm old enough, cause I'm an old dog, eh? I'm old enough to remember when um, the original version of this Emergencies Act was invoked in 1970, I would have been a kid, like I would have been seven years old. Um, but it was when we had uh, another case of domestic terrorism in which the FLQ, Front de Liberation de Quebec, uh, a terrorist organization in Quebec, who at that point had kidnapped a British oh, was a diplomat of some kind. I think he was a trade ambassador. Um, they had kidnapped him and they had murdered a Quebec cabinet minister and Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Our current Prime Minister's father was uh, the sitting PM at the time. And he declared martial law. Nobody thought he would because that's the thing that conservatives always make the mistake. They think that because somebody's uh, liberal, you know, that they're soft, soft on crime. Well, yeah, see how soft we are on crime. Um, there's going to be some people going to jail here. There's no two ways about it. So anyways, I pulled the cards. I'd like to know what is... Is this going to succeed? Let's start right there. Is this going to be successful? And um, first card in the reading is the emperor. And the emperor is about all about authority and having uh, rules, and regulations, and structure. And this is about the seat of government and about the government in power. Um, and certainly it's a very, very strong card. Very strong card. Um, there is an association with Aries and Mars. And so there's that kind of warlike nature is part of the Emperor card. Not, again, once again, I'd like to emphasize that this is not a declaration of martial law in Canada. That's not what's being brought up. The uh, second card is strength strength and i think that this is about the whole idea that the government does have the strength that is going to be required in order to um bring this to an end uh hopefully with a minimum of damage and please god spirit whatever's out there without any loss of life on either side. I don't want to see police officers hurt and I certainly don't want to see the truckers hurt. Okay. And the last card, oh my God, three major arcana right in a row. Man, we're talking about some powerful energy here. And that is the star. And that is the best card I could pull today. Holy cow. This is about hope, hope and redemption and things coming together holding out for a good ending, um, that things will get better. Things are improving. This is what we're holding on to. Oh, hallelujah. I love those cards. Three major arcana cards in a row. Whoa. And oh my goodness. And underneath the shadow of the deck, the card that's underneath it, we have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant, of course, is about, um, it's the ultimate. So it's the ultimate in religion, ultimate in politics, ultimate in whatever. This is, you know, the government, not a particular government. It is like the state as opposed to a political party. So, yeah, um, what can I say? I mean, one of the definitions of a state is their monopoly on the use of violence. And if you challenge that, which these bozos have, um, I guess they had a swearing in ceremony where they swore in their own police force the other day and uh, supposedly gave them the rest, to the, them the right to arrest and detain people who violated their rules. And uh, yeah, I'm telling you, governments will not take that shit. And then this whole bunch of uh, arms coming in. Uh, to the country. No, no. 
Canadians, Canadians will not tolerate this. Um, and I would say that they have probably turned anybody that was sitting on the fence, like a great deal of people that were sitting on the fence about this and, you know, they have the right to protest are probably, I think, I think so far they are going to lose the publicity war, the PR war. Um, of course, what could screw that up is if there's really heavy handed, uh, actions on the part of the federal government and they make, you know, martyrs of these bozos. And let's, let's get something clear right here, right now, that this protest has absolutely zero to do with vaccines and mandates. Vaccines and mandates, uh, requirements have been dropping in various jurisdictions across Canada, not because these yahoos are out there protesting. It's because the danger from the virus is starting to diminish. I mean, thank goodness we're starting to look at Omicron in the rear view mirror. Now, God knows what's coming down. You know, pick the Greek letter of your choice. Uh, We'll probably have another outbreak, but we are starting to make some movement on this pandemic. And that's why vaccine uh, mandates and restrictions and lockdowns and quarantine stuff. That is why things are being loosened. It is not because these guys are yahoos. Well, my question is, is the government going to be able to keep themselves in check long enough to disperse these dingbats and tell them to, you know, get the hell out of Dodge without um, fueling them. Because this is, like I said, is not about mandates. This is about recruiting. And it's recruiting for the extreme right wing. And yes, we have one in Canada. Um, a lot of Americans don't know this, but the Proud Boys are a terrorist organization in Canada. They tried to infiltrate our military and they were declared a, a terrorist organization. You're not allowed to fund them, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm sure there's other ones that are coming uh, into focus of Canadian intelligence services. Um, one of the things that's going to happen with this um, new mandate is that there's going to be a real tightening up of financial uh, services. Uh, we have a group called FinTrack, which is uh, our financial intelligence network that's used for reporting things. And it's about preventing money laundering and other financial shenanigans and uh, terrorist uh, funding of terrorist organizations. Now, up until now, the crowd funding platforms and other groups have kind of been able to skirt around that. Well, that's getting shut down. Uh, they will now be required to report to FinTrack. And um, in addition, banks will be allowed to withdraw banking services from um, these wingnut organizations. Hallelujah, let's not let them get a freaking grip on our country which is what they want to do. I mean, they got a quite a bite into the United States right now. Um, so let's take our lesson from that. Um, so anyways, is the government going to be able to pull this off without uh, inflaming the passions, if you will? And uh, first card is the Four of Cups. Four of Cups. And this is a, um, about kind of regret and um, disappointment and uh, looking things over again. It is um, a card that's kind of associated with a bit of sorrow and a sense of loss, but not overwhelming. I mean, in the Rider Waite version, he's sitting up you know, back to the tree. There's the three empty cups before him and he doesn't see the cup that's being offered to him from 
the universe. So it's not a card without hope, but it is that kind of uh, taking stock in review and not being really happy with what you're seeing. And that's in the past position. The central energy on this second reading is the King of Cups. And this is an emotionally intelligent uh, male energy, uh, a leader who has uh, a great deal of heart and compassion and can connect with people on an emotional level. And I would argue that our Prime Minister is actually very much that. He can key in with people on an emotional level. And he's managed to keep his cool despite the fact that he is absolutely reviled by the Conservatives. Absolutely reviled. And you know why they hate him? They hate him because he was born. His biggest crime in their eyes is that he is the son of, I would argue, one of Canada's greatest prime ministers. But the fact is, I mean, they're still mad about policies that were enacted by the Liberal government 40 plus years ago. And they're still mad because his son is in office. Oh yeah, and the other thing he did was he taught drama. I'm telling you, these people, I did. I'm trying not to get crazy here. Okay, and the final card in the reading, Future Energy, that's out there, it's called the Artist in this deck, but it's actually the World card. And this is, you know, the beginning or the end of one cycle and the beginning of another one in that pause in between the two of them. Now, we know that we're going through a lot of different kind of energy right now. Uh, we've got, um, you know, we've gone into the age of Aquarius and there is these whole kind of shifts in structure that are happening. So the old order is kind of breaking down and the new order hasn't been born yet. So we're kind of in this Bardo land. Um, and it's going to take a while to sort things out, but I think this is very keenly um, a message that, or a, a reading that's picking that up. And let's see what's at the bottom of the deck with this reading. Grab it here. And it is the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, fast moving energy, doesn't always think his way through it. You know, it's kind of act now, think later kind of energy. It can be very, it's very fast paced, but it would kind of be reckless um, and that it doesn't appreciate consequences that are associated with the actions. So this, I wouldn't want to call how the PR war is going to go. Hopefully, and this is my true hope as a patriot of this country, um, that things will not get out of hand and that um, the government is able to dispel these people with a minimal use of violence that is largely restricted to um, property. And I mean, yes, people are getting arrested and I'm telling you right now, those people are gonna be charged. That's just as sure as God made little green apples. But um, there you have it. And I'm hoping that this can be ended quickly because what's going to end up happening if it doesn't happen and I think this is part of what brings um, the federal government to it is those people in Ottawa who have been under siege for three weeks now um, by this band of disrespectful lunatics people will take matters into their own hands and then we are going to have serious violence so um, it is better for the government in a controlled sense to step in now because, you know, you get a bunch of people who have been deprived of sleep for three weeks running. Um, they come up with crazy ideas that make perfect sense in a state of sleep deprivation. And they will end up doing things that they normally wouldn't do. And it just, it's, going to end in sorrow. So it is time for the government to step in. And yes, it might sound a little heavy handed, but I think it is probably a whole lot better 
than a bunch of frustrated, upset Ottawa residents and various counter protesters going in and start swinging whatever they got in hand to swing. So that's my reading for this little nightmare. And I will be back later, hopefully again on a less contentious topic. I don't know, can we discuss spring flowers or something one of these days? Anyways, talk to you later. I'm shutting off. I'm going to bed. Good night.